Okay, the point of this here is that Gavin's being really cocky. Still just a motive. We still have a lot to back it up. So, let's go back to the part where he says our case is going to fall apart. And we'll just present the physical evidence we have. <laughs> there we go, there's that prosecutor's case, yep. I like this guy. Salim Kushari. I am a chef at the restaurant. Aha! You are right, my friend. It is only a small one, Mr. Your Honor. We have a very small staff. I must cook the food myself also. Hmm. I must be modest, Mr. Your Honor. But many people have told me it is very good. Oh. The number seven said he's great. What do you make? Ah, uh, maybe. But beware of that one. Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> ah, yes. We had, yes, we had few customers that day. I send the rest of my staff home early. Oh, they were. Thank God I was the only one who had to see it. Did you, sir? Oh? You? Oh, no. Well, I ain't calling you a truther. That's for sure. Hmm, yes. Then you are right. I did not. Oh, goody. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Prosecutor Williamson. That's quite the mouthful. I like this guy. Mendiras and Luciano. I served food to the two men after the others went. While they ate, I stepped into the kitchen for a moment. When I came back, the one-eyed man was dead. I called the police immediately, and Mr. Togamera arrived quickly. Oh, thank you. The girl and the big man, of course. The kidnapped child. Ah, Mr. Parker. Oh, I didn't think it was strange, you see. She didn't seem any different from any other child who comes into my restaurant. I did not know she was kidnapped. Those awful men. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mr. Parker. He is very spineless. Very huge man. I went back for the cleaning. Hmm. Mr. Attorney Gavin. 
Oh, that's where the bell comes in, isn't it? If anyone had come in, they would he would have heard it. Oh, Jimmy. off in this story. All right. Mr. Kushinari, Mr. Kushari claims he went to the kitchen to clean up a mess. I th I say he's lying. He could not have seen the body while he was in there, so how did he know? I say he knew about it beforehand, as good as a reason as any to lie. And why would he lie? Simple. He was involved. Ooh. I think you're onto something. into a Gavin trap, eh? Interesting. Mm. Well, I say you're a big meanie face. Perhaps again, what? <laughs> okay, so the obvious contradiction's in there. Let's just press the rest of this. And then we'll see what Gavin's trap is. My female intuition says yes? What? Oh. Okay, yeah. said, yes. Hmm. Let's look at the diner map. No, not not the diner map. There is a big window there, right? Well, let's see. 
Hmm. A huge window. Mr. Your Honor. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> so what? Where is this headed, Gavin? Did Gavin find it? Did Gavin find it? Quote, quote unquote, find it? Togamera is dirty. Togamera was dirty from the beginning, before going to the FBI. Of course, Mandira's uh, Togamera would mention her. Ah. Manufactured. 
Oh. Mm. really bad. Phoenix Wright ties with Pearl. explains where that came from. That's gotten a lot clearer now. So this is why Obadiah really disliked Phoenix right from the beginning. Because a whole mix of forged evidence and ties to the Mendira's family. And Pearl's kidnapping, yeah. was a good guy. Prosecuting? All right, who's taking over then? Miles Edgeworth. Yep. Oh, the chief prosecutor had a hand in arranging arranging it. 
So it might not be Edgeworth. But it's someone Edgeworth arranged. I'm very curious to see who it is, though. Yay! Hello. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We still have, don't have a bloody clue. Someone just magically appear. Yes, no. Just give me one reason to drop your case. I still don't know who's prosecuting. How great would it be if it was if it's who I think it is? She's late. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes, finally. <laughs> Fantastic. So fair. Yes, Web. Oh, yes. Thanks, Edgy. Thanking him or her griping. Because why the heck would you do that to me? Fair enough. Right, we're supposed to find out who he was. Recent arrest. What? Oh! Sir Galante. What? Oh! Escape from police custody. Got a hold of him, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing but perfection.
Oh, yes, Dresden. He's going to get whipped at some point during this testimony. Put your money on it now. Of course not. My calculations put the death at, oh, roughly 30 days ago. He'd been stabbed through the wall. The wound would not have been fatal. The cause of death was strangulation from a thick rectangular object, source yet unknown. After that, he was buried in the ground, where he remained until just the other day. The science of DNA testing has proven that he was indeed Virgil Black. Eureka! Well. Wow. There was definitely a struggle there. <laughs> Virgil Black. Wow. that next time. <laughs>